This is the lock picking lawyer. I recently posted a video of picking this Quickset Smart Key Padlock, but I was not able to show you what's inside, and I really wanted to do that because it's it's a really interesting mechanism. So I just picked up this Quickset Smart Key rim cylinder that I know I can disassemble. These are the keys to it. Not too bad a bidding. Not not really special, but not bad either. Works perfectly as you would expect for a brand new lock. We're going to try to pick this guy open and then I'll take it apart and show you the innards. Using top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths pry bar and this 25 thousandths standard hook. Looking for a binding slider. We got some little bit of springiness on one after I lifted him a little bit. Okay, two, we moved him up one gate, got a little bit of springiness to him. Three is, oh, it's three is binding very hard. Moved him up one click. I'm not sure if he's springy, but I'm going to leave him alone. I don't want to lift him too far. Okay, four, got a click there, and he's springy. Click out of five, he's springy. Let's go back to the beginning. One two springy. Okay, three is our binder. Lifting him up one. At least trying to. Okay, definitely springy now. Okay, four drop down. Lift him one gate. Still binding. Two. Okay, he's, he's springy now. Okay, five. Lifted him one gate. And we got her open. Okay, so just as quick as the other padlock, but this one we are going to take apart and I'm going to show you what's inside. I've already half disassembled this clip here and what that allows us to do is move this whole core right out. And the core is where all of the interesting action goes on. Okay, first thing we have to do is get this clip off the back. Might be best for me to lock him up first. There we go. Okay. Now, let me give you a close up of this of this core to start with. All of the sliders for this lock, as I'll show you in just a moment, are located in this movable piece on the side. That movable piece can be slid back if you slide a tool through that little opening. That's what allows you to reset the core. It's that action right there. And what that does is it disengages the sliders from the small, I'll call them half key pins, that are located in here. So let's take all this apart now and I will sh give you a better look at all of those pieces. First we're going to remove the sidebar, put that in slot 6. Now I'm going to take this slider cassette off. And we can see all of the sliders are in place. And the most interesting or important part right here are those six little notches there. And what those six notches do is they line up with these tiny little nubs that come off of these key pins. And depending on where the nubs are and where they engage with the slider, that depends on the bidding. And by sliding that cassette out, repositioning the sliders and sliding the cassette back in, we effectively rekey the lock. And I guess while I have this close up going, also check out we've got some drill protection for the sidebar right here with this little ball bearing. Something very unusual for a quick set lock. Probably the first quick set I've seen with drill protection. Okay, let's pull these, these sliders out. Oh, 
Okay, got all of them out. And then let me give you another close up of these sliders so you can see both sides of it now. What I showed you before were these six notches that determine the bidding for the lock. But then this side is what engages with the sidebar. And you can see pretty clearly we have six false gates and one true gate. It's the size of that true gate that allows you to pick this lock. It's a lot larger than the others and it allows a tiny bit of movement when the sidebar is engaged in it. Okay. I will not be taking apart the rest of the lock just because it's a little hard to get back together. But we can see that all of the, the key pins are in place. And the only thing real important about them is that the key pins are there and that the nubs are on there so they can engage with the sidebar. So let me give you a close up of the innards of, of this lock. Okay, you can see all of our sliders were in place and they all have, oh, let's focus a little better. They all have their false gates and true gates. Then in slot number six, we see the sidebar with its five engagement points. Oh, sorry for moving the camera around there. We engage those sliders here, 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 and on the end. Then next we have our slider cassette. This, the movability of this piece within the core is what allows you to reset it. And then finally moving over, we have our core with the key pins that are actually engaged by your key. And you can also see we have some drill protection there in the side. So this has been our quick set smart key rim cylinder. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.